Cause I'm definitely amazing That's right, I'm definitely amazing Everybody I Like a, I don't know, a month ago? For something? Yeah, that art thing Now we're not talking about that We're talking about this And this person About this And that um, Keish. So I, I, I've been, I've been about Bonfire for like, I've been about Bonfire back when Bonfire was, was the event you had to go to. Like, yeah. if you didn't go to Bonfire, then you've never been to an open mic. Well, pretty much. Open. Pretty yeah. much. Yeah. Like, you'd find out on Facebook how lame you were. Boop. I said it. Said she it. didn't. I'm okay with that. Exactly. Um, so, if you could sum it up, you've taken it from Flatbush. Yeah. Now you're here. This is a big moment. You had everybody come today. It's like people are just popping in. Like popping that. in, just seeing us. Um, well, you know, we started, yes, we have had humble beginnings. I mean, this is still, to me, very humble. You know, we just keep it really really family oriented. We started in my basement in Flatbush, Brooklyn. Um, and then that space got taken over and we had to find a place to move and we had to do it fast and we needed the help of the people. We put together a campaign and we raised about $10,000 and the people made this happen. We have a new studio here at the Vasquez building here in Bushwick, Brooklyn, New York. Um, the community has made this, they beautified the space they fed people, they entertained them. That's what tonight is about, just giving back and sharing what, what you all have built with us and us sharing that with you. I love it, I love it. How excited are you for the future of Bonfire Radio? I'm really excited, man. We are building new, um, just, we're just making this shit happen on our own terms. We're adding new shows all the time. You know, there's a process. If, it, if your show doesn't fit, you must have quit. <laughs> I love it. Um, you know, so we just are here to bring back real radio, that connection that the listener feels to the host, really talking to your issues, your problems, your skin color, your race, your religion, whatever. Like, we're talking for people that don't have a voice. You can go and listen to that other noise, but we're here saying something very specific. And I think it's very important that I, as a woman, and I, as a woman of color, be at the forefront of this mission. This is a safe space for us to have certain conversations, and also a safe space for us to have all kinds of conversations and opinions and differences, and come together and make good radio, have good music, have good conversations. So that's, that's what the Bonfire Radio is about right now 2015 i love it i love it uh he's yeah so i mean if i if i may yes if i may divulge a little secret about quiche um you have been an inspiration to me for many different things because you do you were doing things that i'd always had the dream of doing but never stepped out foot and, and had a chance to do and I remember our first conversation I had with you was at a similar Brooklyn event, um, which was the, uh, what was the name of that event? Um, uh, Rock, Rock the, the Block. Block. <laughs> Rock the Block Rock BK. The Block. Rock yeah. the Block BK. And it was, um, it, was that, it was on that day, on that day that I uh, said, you know, that's the kind of host I want to be. You, and you came up to me. You were like, I want to host shows. And I was like, host shows? Like, and I was, I was like, you are fantastic. Um, but you, you did that. And then you're, you're taking radio to a place of love that I, a former radio host of my own from college, just really, really love. And I have to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you for Bonfire. Uh, thank you and Cooley High for what is sure to be one of the most amazing stations ever. Thank you for having me on as a guest. Oh, no doubt. Definitely amazing, bro. I mean, I mean, thank you for thank you for having me on as a guest and then saying my book live. Anybody hear that episode? Yeah. She just had me like live. We read Rand's erotic reading up. Yes, yeah. we did that in the morning. In the morning. 
lot. That's how we, that's how we like to start mornings. Yeah. Once again, start Keith. Start your morning with a little kick. <laughs> a little ran kick. A little ran kick. You're talking about your panties. Yes. I can't say panties. I can't. Panties. <laughs> I get, it, I get. It. Yes, child. Oh man. Um, once again, thank you for inviting me out. Uh, yeah, man. I'm gonna enjoy party. I'm. Yo. This. Go back. Get Whatever. Ready. Dance a little bit. We got more to come. I thank you, Ren, for all your undying support and love and energy. Even when I don't see you for a while, I know that your energy is there and you're sending it to me, and I send it back to you. And Bonfire Radio sends it back to you. I, I, I try. I try. I even, I even was, you know. Poor enough to donate five dollars to the cause. That's what only we five. No, yeah, no. Ren. But, Ren. Look, but look at what you did. My look five. Did, though. Yeah, look my five. Did, though. Look at my five. You did that. <laughs> this is this is so, <laughs> my five's in here somewhere. It's in here somewhere. Trust. It's this. It's my trust. five is this. It could be it's a pack of light bulbs. Trust. Yes. The new my, the new light bulbs are expensive. My five is probably probably these cups. Cause you gotta have five on it. I got that. five on it. Got it good. Shaman Man, Random Man, definitely amazing. Not come and I'm out. Yes. It's Liz. I'm Liz Allen, aka Nobody Beats the Liz, and I'm amazing. Are you? The group Soul Inscribe have been very good to us, and please do check them out when you get a chance. He's a producer. He is a bass bassist. <laughs> bassist. <laughs> and he makes music with his mouth, so he's about to do that.
I'm definitely amazing. That's right, I'm definitely amazing.